Alright, so welcome back to another video of fun one today because we're gonna do a, a members only funnel design feedback video from people inside of full-time funnel designer which is our program for building high converting funnels for clients and building your own online business and so i'm gonna review them and then after i've reviewed them i'm gonna give you first of all my you know personal opinion on the design the branding the graphics the copy a lot of that good stuff and then also gonna pick a winner at the end so make sure you stay to them to find out who the winner is and um, i'm not gonna mention names of all the different uh, designs but i will give a shout out to the winner so let's just dive in and I share my screen and uh, this is kind of the theme that i like with the graphics um, beautiful font stuff like that obviously the structure to it will change depending on the funnels but we're just going to start with this one uh, right here and i go through them and then i'll pick a winner so that's good make sure you smash the like button subscribe and let's dive in so First of all, we have a sales page. Uh, this looks like it's right after someone opts into a funnel. It's a VSL, eight minute long. This, did you watch the, the video? Can you for, confirm the following before booking a call? So then the call action is to claim your exclusive VIP invitation, uh, which is a power session. Nice graphics or images like hero image. A lot of credibility here. Social proof, Russell Brunson. Um, you can see the theme throughout. So there's a theme for the graphics as a, I call these like scroll stoppers where you have, you have like one piece or one graphic that is from white background to dark background to white. So like you have this like scroll stopper that makes you go, okay, uh, what is this? I need to, to look at this. It's kind of like a, a guiding attention throughout the landing page, which is something that I teach as well. So going back to the funnel, uh, you can see that here. A lot of social proof with these results. So that's obviously powerful for a application page, which is what this is. So there's not a lot of, you know, content about the company. I guess we have certificate. So we have a USP unique selling point when it comes to the program. FAQ to overcome objections, which is important. This is also great for credibility. The right fit, this is qualifi uh, qualification section, which is good. And then future pacing, are you next? So uh, makes sense. I love the branding of it. Looks premium. Um, I don't see a lot of storytelling, um, which, you know, if you had a product that was like a software, you would have like, here's what it can do. And here's like all these things, which makes sense to not have on an application page. So let's just go to the next one, IG marketing. Okay, I can't give too much feedback on copy here because it's French. But uh, I like the theme, the branding of it, first of all. I like that you have a person here. So that's good for, you know, building trust. You see a face. Who am I talking to or listening to, right? And then you have like these three steps to this. I like the branding of these. I, again, I don't know what, what it says. Crawl stopper here. Graphics, visuals are always great. Uh, you've divided the copy into bullet points, which is awesome. Here's the, the wrong way of doing it. I can see this by the graphics or the bullet points. This is the wrong way of doing it as an influencer. This is the new way, which is a business. I guess having your own product is the new opportunity. A lot of text here. I would say this is one piece that I would instead do like image here, text here, image here, text here. So dividing the text into different sections. I love this part, the graphic the animation here. I love this, a lot of social proof, but hard to read all of this copy. So again, would have divided that into different sections. I love this, maybe make this one bigger and this one smaller with also, like if you have a big headline, you wanna have the sub headline body text way smaller, like half the size of the headline so that you can see a big um, contrast in between these two again guiding attention first to this and then this so same thing here like they're pretty same size i like the graphics the design and the brand branding is on point there's consistency throughout when it comes to headlines and uh, color of sub uh, bullet point sorry i like this i love this i love this i love this the guarantee i like that as well looks awesome Again, it's pretty hard when I don't understand all the copy structure. So like some people like this, some people don't. You can split test when it comes to, uh, when it comes to details, you can always uh, split test that, even though I would say most split tests happen at the top of the page, because there's a lot of percentage of people who already either decided they want to buy or they dropped off at this stage of the um, page. And so you finish the page with a uh, FAQ section, you answer, uh, concerns overcome subjections that's great so now i'm gonna go to sorry i didn't uh, share the last part so i don't know how much i missed here 
but here's the FAQ. Uh, here's the testimonial section that I mentioned that I don't really like a lot. Um, hopefully I wasn't sharing the entire page without sharing my screen. Anyways, going to the next one. Um, Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, headline, grow more and impact more with each funnel builder, freelance, social media market, the fast way to get to 10K per month without paid ads. This is great, but I would do this more like a slogan here. So, you know, I would have a stronger headline that says um, something with the outcome of 10K per month without paid ads, you know? So the headline could be discover how I may discover how or not discover that would be for like a free training with a lot of curiosity. So maybe for this one, it would be more like how uh, we grow online business to 10K per month uh, using organic marketing, even if you're not, you know, whatever. So overcoming that objection or false belief as well. Uh, when it comes to copy, I need more time, you know, instead of just throwing something out there. But uh, credibility, I like this, mm, like this, I like the design on this. Copy is really well structured. Bullet points, call to action you know, making it easy to understand the process of it is also great. Watch it. Okay. I guess it is a, um, free training or an opt-in. So that the case study, uh, the curiosity based, uh, copy and that approach is working on these. Um, I would try to do something here, um, with, you know, split testing and see in the conversion rate, which is, you know, you can try this and then also try to make it just these two sections. So, this banner right here above the fold and then um maybe this one could be instead of having headline image you know text bullet points you could have two sections so it's like image here copy here and then final call to action here um and it would all be inside of this area right here and obviously i have a wider screen like this is probably what you know most people have if we just you know if we were to use a laptop, it would look something more like this. So <clears throat> anyways, I like that page too, branding wise. This one, I can't really scroll, uh, but I like the branding as well. I like the colors, the structure of um, the different elements. It doesn't feel too busy. A lot of spacing there, which is great. You highlight a section by adding a shadow to it. That's awesome. We have uh, custom branded icons here. We have a hero section, testimonials. I feel like you have everything you need in this in this funnel. Maybe uh, branded graphics. So, like for an example, one of the things that I do is you know add something to the graphics to make it unique, um, which I'm sure you did on on some places here, but not here, not here, not here. So that's something that you could have added to it. Um, then we have this one, a lot of social proof. So this is great. Um, we have this easy to consume, like a logical three-step process, which, you know, is great. And then I would maybe not, and I know this is a structure that's similar to, uh, some of the famous webinar funnels out there, but I would not keeping, I would not structure it in this way because it looks and feels a little bit busy to me. So what I would do is kind of, I try to say more with less words and then add a lot of spacing to it, give the design and the copy space to breed. So that's what I would do on that. All right, so this one, I like this. Um, I'm worried if it feels, I'm worried that it might feel a little bit too much like a website. If you have too much content and information on the page. But then again, you've been able to take something that looks like a website ish and eliminate those things. Like there's no menu with hundreds of things you can do. Yeah. I like this. I like this a lot. When you have like a banner that goes like this, then you have strong statement. What top experts are saying. So like social proof, the problem with treating back is all of the problem. A proven back pain result, the promise, the solution. I love this. This section right here is super important with the visuals. This how star works. So it's like a unique methodology or a unique process, a unique system, unique product. I like that. Great graphic right, right here. This is awesome. Um, testimonial. So you can see there's a video testimonial and also 
a headline to sell them on the click to watch the video. And this is something that more people should do, really. You have so many testimonials, you just throw them up there, but instead you should keep them a little bit, you know, less, kind of what I mentioned in the first funnel. Less testimonials, highlight the best ones with a headline and sell the click to watch the testimonial. Because video testimonials are important, they're super impactful, but I would sell them more with the copy uh, next to them. So this is, this is great what we have up here. Refuse to let back pain become the norm. I like this. Showing the real life use, you know, use case scenarios. How soon can I see results? Great question. I'm sure that's something that a lot of people with this would ask. Um, this is a lot of information in one section, but I like that it's bullet points and it's easy to, cons uh, easy to consume. We've got testimonials backed by professionals, which is great for authority credibility. Address the source of the problem. Yeah. So not just treating symptoms and FAQ. Um, now this is great. This is great. Then we have this one. I love this branding. I love how clean it is, easy to consume, even if it's on a darker background, like it's not on white background or light gray or light blue. Um, it's still easy to consume, which is hard to do. But if you look at this, for example, uh, this section right here, big headline and just the video. So it's not like one sub headline um, to get attention, then a big headline and then, you know, body text and then video. It's just one. Um, same thing here in this proven pro uh, method, you'll learn how to number one, scale your business. Here's what you could actually with numbers say number one, scale your business and not in this proven you'll learn how to, and then just go, you know what I mean? Like you could highlight step number one or the first thing you do or the first pillar step one and you know, that sort of stuff. So anyways, um, got the logos here for social proof. I think this is what you've designed to uh, build a concept funnel, but um, great structure overall. I feel like something is missing when it comes to the actual like sales vehicle. Steal my framework, start your business in just 30 days. So a little bit vague, maybe that's the problem, like a little bit vague. Research, takeoff, analytical optimization. Like for an example, if this is um, cause I see scalar business and retargeting. So imagine if you had a graphic with this person, you know, if this is a client funnel, um, you would have a dashboard screenshot of, you know, you scaling the business. And so it would be either, um, Facebook ads account, or it would be Google ads, YouTube, whatever it is and showing like real numbers. I think that's what's missing, like the meat on the bones. Um, also when it comes to details like this behind the images, I would try to make them more uh, subtle, not so dominant and I would make them smaller. So I would just move that to like side here, not a big deal, but, uh, it's just, you know, one of the things that I would do to make it maybe even cleaner. This one I'm trying, I'm going to try to go quicker. So we're not here all day. Two day event, revolutionary new process that remove your biggest inner blocks, limitations. My name is Christopher Duncan. Okay. Here's the truth. I love how clean this is with just three colors, right? So you have orange, blue, and white. And that's a great way to keep structure throughout your design to keep brand congruency and consistency is, you know, uh, keeping it to minimal amount of fonts and colors. Again, I can't really uh, zoom in and go through all of the copy. Overall though, I feel like this is super easy to consume. So scope funnels, boost conversion seven days without, with our high powered funnels. See, I like a strong hook. I like a strong statement. That's a little bit polarizing. It's like breaking through all of the noise and it says, here's how I can help you. Right. And, and it gets me, it gets my attention. It gets me focused on what's next. So then I scroll down. I love this. Maybe four is too many uh, tags on one image, but I like this. I like this. I like that it's consistent, not too much copy. Um, with these right here, you could even try to make them shorter. So it's just here so headline here, uh, basically like a break, um, like, uh, an element to give some spacing in between the text. A little bit of copy bullet points is great. It's a great way to keep their attention throughout. 
I love this. This already gets me interested in reading this. Email sequence ready to make your next sale. I would say uh, something more specific like email sequences to double your follow-up conversion, right? Or email sequences to increase your conversion, your overall conversions with 150%, something like that. Like here, for example, you have numbers and, and they say men lie, women lie, numbers don't. And it's there's some truth to that. So that's why we use a lot of case studies and that sort of stuff to, to drive home a point that we're making about something. If you tell someone, for example, if you tell someone that email marketing is important, you could show how recently you've been able to increase conversions with 150% by adding a seven part email sequence, you know? So, uh, design credit to, I crafted to keep your audience engaged. I like this. looks clean. Raise your hand if, so this is a qualifier. We get working with us. This is also clean. Maybe you wanted to add a, a shadow to this and it, maybe even a background, like a circle to this and lift it above this. I think that would look cool as well. You would have them here. Half the icon goes above, half of it is inside, but this is also great. I like they have a different color from the background so that uh, you separate them and you, you know, you tell the visitor that these are six highlights. Um, look at them. Check out our work. You have animations here, which is great. Overall, I like them. Most of them. I, I pretty much within the first couple of seconds on a page, I notice if someone has just thrown something together or if they actually put time into it, you know, rocketgrowthfunnels.com where your full service one-stop shop for beautiful high converting funnels. First of all, great font. We have a great image, great logo, which, you know, logo is not that important, but it's great. It's consistent with this. I, I hope you have the same color, um, codes, the hex codes, the right version of red apply now. <clears throat> So I don't like this, that it goes from apply now to get a data, check our funnel builder portfolio below. And then I don't see any funnels. I want to see funnels right after this. Check out our funnel below, funnel portfolio. Anyways, um, I like that you have this, so you can see the full funnel. And then you scroll down and you see this. And I remember when you shared this with me on a weekly coaching call as well. Okay. We see some personality added to the images here. Um, I like that you show the structure here. So clients who want to work with you can see that. This is super clean, by the way. Look at this. Man, it looks clean. Look at that. Well done. I know you've uh, learned how to use some CSS in the program and and decided, uh, decided to use that here for an example. So looks great. Uh, Built-in click funnels plus white five-minute speed whitening gel. Quick, effective, gentle on teeth. Yes, I want this 20% off. Um, what I would do, cause this looks great branding wise for anything besides teeth. And I, I like it here too. It's just, I would want to see a little bit more health vibes, if that makes sense. So like usually when you see, especially if it's like organic toothpaste or whatever, like you see a little bit more of like, like healthy, like nature, that sort of stuff. And this feels very much like online marketing or business or finance or payment processor. Like that's what you see a lot with uh, like this color blue um, banking. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me and, and it looks great because it looks clean. It really does. Um, one thing that I would do, try to make this button. Yes, I want this. Try to make it smaller. Um, I try to have this copy. If I have it like 18, the button is the same, you know, font size. There's something missing here as well, where I would add something to the images. So like, for an example, for us, when we have coffee, where is it? It's right here. I always try to uh, plan something I can add to it. So if I took a photo of this, I would add coffee beans here or a, you know, these coffee bags when they get shipped from Brazil or wherever it's from, they come in like a textile bag. I don't know if that's the the word for it, but like fabric. Anyways, 
Um, I would add some of that to it to give context of like, here's the complete product image. So I would do the same thing here for an e-com funnel. Overall, love it. This one is from Karin as well. I love everything about this. Look how clean, consistent. Um, yeah. We even have two images from the same event or speaking engagement, which is great for personal brand funnels. You have that congruency in branding. Like one of the things that I like with, with clients is if it's a personality brand, I want most of the images, if not all, if possible, all of them to be from the same photo shoot or theme or environment they're in usually, you know, from the office, whatever, to give that, you know, personal branding to it, um, if that makes sense. And then we have the same colors here for design. And so I really like this. Um, we could have added more you know, width to this, maybe some icons uh, here. We have testimonials where uh, down here. Okay. Um, if it's the book crushing it, it looks like that could be a bonus. Um, if it is, it would be amazing. Sorry, I'm going to share my screen. Um, if we had people with this book right here, crushing it, uh, holding the book, we had people showing as they're holding their book, sending in images that would give the sense of community behind the book. Um, it's a great way to add social proof to your funnels. Attention, find out more about what some are calling the best birthday parties ever. 15 plus power wheels delivered to you. One thing that I've noticed with myself is I'm very picky when it comes to fonts. I don't like this font at all. It really feels like an old school internet marketing font. Uh, and maybe it's just me, but I don't like emojis like this on funnels either. I guess that this is more playful funnel. So if there's anywhere that it's okay, it, it would be here. Uh, for images, what you could do is remove the background so it fits better into um, that actual like landing page. I don't like adding um, borders or basically anything that's free, like a headline. It's free in and of itself. You can put it anywhere. I don't like to box it into something because then you have a box here, one here, one here, one here, and it starts feeling a little bit busy. So you have a lot of social proof here. The gallery is very important. What you could do with the gallery is you could take all these images and sort of group them together or the best ones and use that as an image on the side. And then for an example, if it was mine, for an example, right here, um, this could be a group image of, you know, people using your product and then you would still have room to write something about it. You know, then we have five check your ability today buttons and no footer. So overall it's, it's clean on the backgrounds, which is great. It's easy to consume it, but it, if you cleaned up the font, the colors, and added some custom graphics to it, it would go from a 7.1 to uh, 8.1. And then if you took it for further from there and actually added more elements to it, um, you could get it to you know nine and, and above. So yeah, that's my first impression of this. It feels a lot like a internet marketing funnel, which is okay for some industries. Not sure how this is converting, but um, it looks like a, like a small business that's local, that's, you know, family business, that sort of stuff, which is why it's okay. But online, if you sell, sold product through order form, I would love to see more branding to build trust with uh, people as they come in, uh, into your top of the funnel. So anyways, next one, funnel vibe portfolio. Here's a few recent funnel builds, um, funnel designs by Boulevard. First, see what others are saying. I love this. It's like a hook. Hey, before you look at our funnel, see what other people are saying. You could also have an image of you here, Bolivar, um, and then uh, below you would be testimonials or maybe just one. Then we're going to uh, your designs. We see a pattern here with the graphics, which is awesome. I like the little details of um, signature logo plus your uh, funnel agency logo here. I see a big variety in terms of funnels and designs, which is awesome. Remember when you built some of these, this is great. Yeah, I love this. Just make sure that the, the background here for some of these 
sections make sure that they go all the way out because people who are using an iMac like I am right now they um, they will see things like this so moving on to the next one Luke Hawkins how to generate uh, 10 coaching needs in four days I'll make these a little bit smaller as well as the button copy the font a little bit smaller live with Luke uh, what you learn free challenge day one this is great this is awesome this adds a little bit to it it's not gonna make people convert like it's not gonna increase conversions but it's not gonna hurt them it actually builds trust with the people that it converts already um, this is awesome you can see the background here we have some text this shows community testimonials great a little bit hard to see the button on this background but um yeah um I, I feel like the background here could be a little bit more visible and i could see you know it, it, it adds some context to the brand like what you're all about but uh, overall i mean it's free to register so it doesn't have to be fancy i like it i would say that's good it's not perfect but it's good this one is great p academy one to 10x your productivity in the next 30 days learn the proven system used to da, da, da. attention to details here on these testimonials step one two three custom icons congruency throughout well-structured copy i would say this one right here and you have a person here at the top builds trust as well um logos PR or as seen as, as seen on, sorry. So I like it. This one right here, I have to go quicker so we're not spending the entire day on this video. I love this. Again, a lot of attention to detail, a lot of things above the scroll. Credential, discover this. <clears throat> I used to be broke stuntman. Okay. I love this. Great mock ups. That's awesome. Guarantee. This is an amazing funnel. Funnel Design Studio. Want us to build your next funnel? See what others are saying below. Connie's testimonial. Apply to work with us. A lot of social proof. Funnel designs. Again, hard to give feedback on on this page, but if I gave you know feedback on this one, for example, this is close close to a well, it's a little bit short for that. I was gonna say close to a nine when it comes to um what looks like a software funnel just because you see what's working in the industry and you're modeling that um you get something like this so i'm not i'm not saying that you couldn't improve some of the graphics expand on some of them i can tell this shadow right here i would change the spread of it the opacity of it you know minor details like that but you don't want to major in minor details. You want to make sure that overall it's clean and everything, which most of these are. Discover the secret behind how letting uh, agents are using simple online sense for generate leads and build hot databases. Um, credibility, credibility builds trust. Person is smiling. Um, two comma club is great for trust and authority as well. We have a couple of bullet points here for more trust. Model improvements here to some figures funnel templates try to succeed faster. Uh, I remember when you designed this funnel, by the way. So this is someone from my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. We used to try these da -da -da, bullet points. Ready to generate 300 new leads. Yeah, this is great. It's awesome. It's easy to consume. This is kind of what I was talking about earlier, where you have parts of the icon flow uh, on top and going to the, you know, um, to the section above or the row above this is great with all of these mock-ups it shows um everything that you're getting and it, it improves the perceived value increases the perceived value meet your code one thing that i don't like about some of these sections is um headline and text and then a lot of empty space so i would like to see images that go from here to here Maybe even make the, this text a little bit smaller. So instead of, I think this is like 18 or 20 pixels. I would try to look at it from 16 to 18 and see what that looks like. This is awesome. Shows a lot of social proof with the community images. 
the graphics here look great and guarantee we've seen this um, same image for money back guarantee on a couple of pages so it always pays to create your own version of it that is specific for your client I know a lot of people use this one but um yeah always always pays to be unique speaking of unique Brian this funnel right here look at I mean this looks great this one has all the elements great headline short copy straight to the point eliminates objections kickback with just a tap today 100% free no credit card required um, PR logos that's awesome can you imagine four different um, benefits introducing kick tap create design um, with kick tap you'll get like look at all of these graphics right here very visual like it's communicating uh, what the copy is saying I would say this is a close to nine if not nine this is probably a nine I see some graphics that look familiar actually just one and that's this one one two three so I know I've designed something similar but that doesn't mean that other people can't design you know elements or graphics that are similar to what you've seen elsewhere because you know you take something that you see you recreate your own version of it and it's just one piece of the funnel so I would say this is a 9.1 which is uh, the winner so far then we have this one this is this is great too um i'm not sure if it's greater than this one maybe it is i like both of them but the amount of attention to details on this one is crazy like it takes a special kind of mindset to be like man look at all these details as i'm cutting the background out here i'm adding custom elements to it and throughout the page it's just it has that personal touch to it where you say I can tell that you put a lot of time into it you know so I think that's super super big um, in this space is people who put that like extra time into it you will never struggle with getting clients again and I know um, I know that's the case with you because I know Brian last time we spoke you said um, that you know you've crossed 10k per month which is great that's that's the goal of our program to help you get to 10k per month and and beyond so well done and it shows the amount of skills that you have is is awesome it's amazing so well done i would give this one a 9.2 i gotta say this one is a little bit better in my opinion um not saying that there aren't things that you could still improve but um i like it all right we only have two more okay uh solve common skin issues in just 10 days using a plant-based skin routine image and video at the top i would assume this is a video at the top i like the branding of this yep love this testimonials love this how the skin detox ebook will benefit you i'm curious and maybe there is a longer form version of this where i would see the offer because i see like the the icons and and stuff like that which by the way these icons look similar so i would always have like unique icons for each section because the icon is communicating one thing that i keep seeing is you know it's a mistake not from this one uh vanessa who's made this one it's not to you this feedback to to everyone in in general is look at design in terms of visual communicating they say a photo communicates more than a thousand words or a photo is t you know thousand uh, is bigger than a thousand words or whatever i look at the same thing with design like I think about the same thing when I'm doing design like hey how can I communicate a thousand words in this one image and so when it comes to icons if I say private community have the icon of like a community of people right and like my software for an example frameworks when we have like these sections of like frameworks for weekly planner the icon that I'm using and I've sent to the developer is a planner right so anyways um why is he not sharing my screen? There we go. Um, but yeah, that's what, you know, if you didn't see 
I'm right here with these icons is what I was talking about. Um, and yeah, last one, two ranking ninja rank your videos in the top five on YouTube in just 48 hours to 72 hours using a secret three step process. Great hook. Discover a proven backdoor method. Again, unique methodology person here smiling great test um credibility factor with the two comma club youtube branding i like this um having one video go viral is one thing ranking videos consistently in all niches is is another rank higher uh, highlighting i guess the keywords which is awesome i remember when so this is another uh member of the program full-time funnel designer and also my one-on-one -on -one coaching and I remember when we added this, the old way, the new way. So let's look at it. Uh, look for keywords that's trending at the moment. Copy other people's videos and hope they'll rank. That's the old way of doing things, right? With YouTube. Hack the algorithm using a proven but hidden system. Rank videos every single time. Grow your best business passively. So it's more about ranking videos to grow your business and sell more of your products. Uh, instead of, you know, going viral and being famous for the sake of being famous. Social media famous, that is. Uh, monetize then we have step one two three which is great that's great for logical buyers is having like visuals and simple like one two three um the number one problem pattern you've tried this so qualifying people to say yep that's me sounds like me sounds like you understand me and so therefore if you can describe the problem you can probably also describe the solution because it means that you've been there but you're no longer dealing with that you've overcome it and now you can help me that's the the top process Co-founder, two ranking ninja. Again, results. I like the graphic. Um, credibility again. Credibility with other uh, well-known people. Yeah, this is also great. Is this all the products? Yeah, so this uh, personal brand website funnel. It goes into other uh, programs. Social proof. YouTube, Facebook page. Apply to work. Okay. So yeah, this one looks great too. I would give this one, this is actually uh, a way to make a clean branded funnel without too fancy graphics, but still having that unique design to it that makes you go, yeah, I can recognize this design. When you see the next funnel for two brand and Ninja and it has like the similar style, you could be like, yeah, I recognize it now because of the previous one. And then we have mine right here. Uh, which, you know, again, hard to give feedback on just one page like this. I would give this a, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. So I would probably, uh, got probably like a 7.8 because it works a lot. Like it works great because I have very simple flow. You look at all of this, it's just one call to action, which is apply to work with us. So probably a 7.9 or 8.0. And then we have this one, which is a super simple homepage funnel for me, a temporary one that I haven't updated yet. I grow and profit one of these high converting sales funnels. Those are great unless you're looking to actually make money. So selling them on a uh, concept of funnels. I haven't even added anything to these graphics. This is a pretty simple one. Um, I do have another one, obviously, which is full time funnel designer. Um, which is the the course where all of these people are who designed um, these funnels that I would just shared with you. So if I take a look at this one, I'll probably rank this funnel at a point because it has everything. Like it literally has everything you need in a sales page to sell a product. And also before I forget, we have a winner. So uh, Brian, congrats for winning 9.2 on this funnel, which is great. Um, so uh, well done to Brian. You won the official 2021 uh, Funnel Design Challenge World Championships a la full-time funnel designer approved by yours truly, Gustan. So uh, well done, Brian. If you're not already inside of full-time funnel designer, now would be a good time to get in, learn how to build these funnels, how to get clients, Get my help on our weekly coaching calls. I give you feedback on your funnel instead of just reviewing other people's funnels. And yeah, if you've been thinking about starting an online business, uh, funnels is the best way in my opinion to do that because you get to learn so much from just building up funnels, the offers, 
uh, the copy, the design, the integrations. Like you, you can build these sales funnel systems start to finish with all the uh, integrations and automations into their funnels. So whatever funnel or business you want to launch in the future for yourself, you've now learned because you built so many funnels for other people while actually getting paid. It's just the first one that you do for free. You get a testimonial and then you start building funnels. You charge 500, 1000, 1500, 2000, 3000. And I would say that's the golden area being around three to four to 5,000 per funnel. You build one per week. That's more than 10,000 a month. So that's my recommendation for you. So with that said, that's all for this video. Thank you for being here and I will see you in the next one. Peace.